Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 4 of this modern house design. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add in the stairs and we added some curtain wall, so windows on this side. Now we're going to continue working on this by adding windows here as well. So click on wall again and then if curtain wall didn't appear we just need to scroll down and choose curtain wall and then we're gonna add it right here so similar to the other one so let's add it here as well and also on this area so you can also do the cut geometry on level one as well so just click on cut geometry choose the wall first and then the curtain wall so like that and then once you're in the 3d you can always change the height so you can orbit around by holding on shift and then clicking on the scroll button like so and then here we could change the height we could just pull it down like that and put it upwards like this now we want to align everything so AL that's for align and then we're gonna copy at the top and then copy the top again to this one and let's align this as well I'm gonna use this as well to align the bottom and there we go so in terms of adding the mullions we're gonna do that later on I wanted to finish the second floor first before doing the mullions or the design of the window so now let's go to level 2 and let's zoom in there so good thing overlay or the or the underlay is base level number 1 so we were able to see what's going on below especially on the stairs area so now let's go to architecture and click on wall we're going to start adding the walls for the second floor so we're going to use exterior wall number one again and this one will be up to level three and the base constraint will be level number two it's still going to be wall center line and we're going to use a rectangle first so the intersection or the end point where the the grid line intersect so we're going to use that again and then all the way to the end the end point and then let's use exterior wall number one again so click this one and then cs we're just gonna put it for now here and like that after that press escape and this one should be around 1700 and then click this wall this one let's move it all the way to this grid line and around 4100 So not, now that's good, we can trim this part, so TR, and then TR, actually we, we just leave it for now, press escape, 
and then let's go back at the back there's also a, a balcony there so let's add in the same wall so exterior wall let's let's add it from here and there so this one should be around so I'm gonna click this one it should be around 1500 and for this part we're going to move this temporary dimension and then I want it to be at 5800 so just click this one and then type in 5800 so just like that and then click on the wall and let's add in an interior wall number one and let's close this out so I'm just gonna add so just check level three and then wall center bind we're just gonna add a wall right here like so I just want to double check so for this one we're, we're just going to align from below so click on AL and then AL again we're, gonna, we're just aligning it from below so now we could go down this is covered because we can actually add in a railing but wall is good for now so now that's done we can actually change the underlay so go to underlay and then base level range should be none and then apply and then we're also going to trim this part so tr and then now it's open so let's focus on adding the interior wall so now that we already added this we can then click this and then cs create similar Let's add in the wall from this grid line all the way at the end. We can also stretch this. So have this one and then drag it all the way at the end as well. And then with the interior wall, let's add it like this for now but actually that's not straight enough so just do it like that and then type in al to align it on this side and then once you done that we could move it all the way down let's add in another wall so this wall so same wall so cs again for interior wall let's add it all the way down there but we're going to align it again on this face so al and then so this face to this face so don't worry we're just going to split element so sl so split this one and then just drag it upwards and then this one downwards so let's add in some doors so go to architecture and then click on door 
and we want the single flush door. I want it to be oriented like this for this one on the other side, so space bar to change it. And then we want a door opened on this side and then opened on this side. We want a door also here. So it will be around this side. Um, let's click on this wall and we're going to create a wall opening. So similar to the, the level one that we have, we have an opening as well like this. So we're just checking and we could just nudge this on the it's too much on the right side so let's put it on the left side and then this will be a walk-in closet we also need an access from there so we're gonna create a wall opening again so click on this area to this area And then what we could do is click on wall and we're going to add in a closet. So we're going to add a closet right here. Like that. Also here. And then we're going to add in some door for the closet. So I'm going to use the four panel bifold. So I'm going to add it here and then here. Similar to that, I'm going to add it here as well and over here. Let's also add in a door that goes out the balcony so we have a balcony right here at the back so let's add in a flush door and let's open it like this and we also have an access right here but a different orientation also on this side we also have the balcony on the south elevation and then let's add it here as well. So let's just add some details on the walking closet. So detail line, go to annotate, detail line. And then what we have, but we have a demolish line. So let's add it like that and like so. Let's add it here as well. That. And then for the walk in closet, we're just going to add a line right here. Like that. And like this. After that, go to the detail line again. And then Ten lines. We're just gonna add some details here. Okay. So just that's representation of a walk-in closet. So let's see. We have the doors. We have an opening opening so actually once you click that wall opening you can move it around like so, so 
this one we could extend it here and over there and let's just notch this one on the left side and we're just checking everything is good so we're gonna stop here for now and continue on the next video thank you for watching and i hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below